Hey, it's Josh and I'm back to share another experience and uh, I hesitate to even call this uh, a trip report because this was uh, something really different. For me, this was an extremely profound and totally unexpected experience that I had over the weekend. I just wanted to make this video, this in this case primarily for anyone out there who's watching who's interested in what enlightenment means. What does it mean to wake up? What is awakening? How do you get there? I think a lot of people that are interested in pursuing you know, meditation, breath work, spirituality, yoga, qigong, psychedelics, all of these different methods are to get them to this state of enhanced spiritual awareness and whatever you want to call that, uh, enlightenment or awakening, it seems to be a goal for a lot of people and I'll totally admit it that that, is, that has been one of my objectives even though I knew it's not something that you really make a goal it's something that you experience and it's a state that I understand now that it's an it's innate to us all we all can we can all be awake right now I'm just going to share the experience so <clears throat> this weekend uh, it was my birthday weekend it was an amazing weekend I spent it at a friend's cottage and like uh, my we often do my friend and I had brought some uh, some mushrooms to use and we're out in nature is gonna be perfect and we've used different types of fungus numerous times a very small amount is uh, enough to have a whole new appreciation of, of nature uh, but he had just picked up uh, some new psilocybin mushrooms from the same person we usually get them from these were completely different you should see these things they're majestic they're huge they're they're beautiful things but uh, we took a very small amount and within minutes it washed over both of us. He had a very similar experience. Um, it came on very strong. Uh, we both had, I had to find a spot to, uh, to sit down in the cottage where I was sort of out of view and uh, I knew I had a decision right there. I had a choice that I could just ride it out and interact with people and just roll with that experience happening in the background. Um, but it was so intense and, and just o overflowing my whole body, just pulsing with light and just uh, took my consciousness to a completely diff different level of awareness and everything became so vivid in Technicolor. I had to, uh, I chose to sit down and go with this experience. It seemed to me right away I knew this was just far too profound to let it go and um, it just seemed the right thing to do for me to close my eyes. I got my uh, sunglasses and put them on so in case uh, someone came in and my eyes were just tearing up completely just flooding. Um, and I, I sat down and, and closed my eyes and went with the experience. And sacred geometry took me on a, this journey through um, this beautiful multi-eyed goddess that was, uh, I felt was touching uh, it, my forehead and uh, sent me into this expansive realization of this other dimensions. It was mind blowing. Um, like, not quite as intense as DMT, obviously, but this, for mushrooms, I had no idea this was possible. I had, I felt I had a choice to completely surrender into this experience as well and go into that oneness, that unity consciousness that I realized from 5-MeO-DMT just recently. And I knew that that was available to me. I knew that that awareness was right there. And this was facilitating it. And so I made the decision, yes, complete surrender. Yes, let go. And I lay back and up until that point, I, I was gesturing through, I was just, my arms were moving me. Uh, all these things that were coming to my realization, like don't forget how powerful we are. Remember when this is over that we, we can manifest whatever we want. We're gods, we're all creators. We are not just pieces of meat out here. This is so important to remember. And then I'd go back into it and then I'd come back out and I'd be, be like channeling this, like uh, we, we are all, we're, we're going to remember everything eventually. And we're, you know, we're all one, but we're coming into like, and the, the, the physiology of our bodies is like a, a, a conduit for channeling this energy. It's this, there's, there's so much potential we have. And then I'd go back in and uh, it was amazing. But at one point I just decided, okay, I'm, I'm uh, done intellectualizing this. I'm done channeling. I'm, 
I'm just going to go, I'm going to dissolve. And I let myself lay back and my mouth open and it was the most incredible sensation of just ceasing to exist and just completely blending into the surroundings. And I had that same sense of that, that white, that light, that uh, just nothingness, but pure energy or love that I had from the 5MEO, but I was still had some sense of my surroundings, which was not the case when I went into my, my uh, ex unity experience with, with uh, the DMT, 5MEO DMT. So I stayed there for quite some time and just soaked in the, the experience of being in this source energy. And then I had a realization that I had a choice to take this with me into this physical reality. I, I had the choice to carry that awareness into awakening. And uh, part of me, I just didn't want it. I just wanted to stay in that feeling and ride it out. But I, I, I realized that if I took this now, if I went with this now, I can, I can interact in this physical world with that same clarity of awareness. And in that instant, I sat up and I took off my sunglasses and then I looked around and everything is so clear. And, uh, and as I'm talking, I'm realizing I'm not thinking. I'm not, not, none of these words are being pre, I'm not intellectualizing anything. There's no thought, this is incredible. But I also knew that this is natural. This is the way it is. And it was like, I have no other word for it. This was enlightenment. This was pure. This was crisp awareness. There's nothing, it was, when you're in that place, you know, it, you just know. And then I also knew consciously, yes, but I have just consumed an entheogen and it is having a chemical effect on my neurology. And I was aware of that, but it became very clear to me too. It's like, but that is beside the point. I said, it doesn't matter. It, it, these are all just little catalysts. They're like opportunities for you to choose DMT, mushrooms, LSD, any of these entheogens, meditation, breath work, yoga, any of that energy work, all beside the point. All useful tools, but I just knew that it doesn't, we can wake up right now if we are able to completely surrender. And this became so clear. All of those all of these methods are simply opportunities for us to practice surrendering, to practice completely letting go, practice utter total release, like, and it's being a complete state of ultimate acceptance, non-resistance. If you can do that and you can completely surrender and just the ego, just let the ego completely dissolve and be okay with no thought, and understand that there's a you, a consciousness behind all of that, that will, that is true and authentic and will take care of things. That that's the real you and you can live that. You're there. It was a unique, powerful experience. But the one, the message I want to get out of this is that it doesn't really matter and it became so clear it doesn't matter that it was a, a mushroom that facilitated this or that it was uh, a DMT or a psychedelic and like I said other methods even breath work and meditation and all of these movement uh, uh, chanting uh, any all of these methods they have a, they're valid but they're like I used to see them as stepping stones to get somewhere to get to an awakening like a path or journey that will take us to somewhere it, we're already there. There is nowhere to get to. You are already, you're, you, this is it. There's only now. There's only this one present moment and now. You, you know how we also realized, became so clear to me, how we measure time, why we perceive time is when, and there's, when there is only this present moment, this current moment, uh, ever-changing, everlasting, infinite moment of now, is that it's also an ever-changing, it's flowing, there's always movement, there's always change, there's always flow in this move moment of now. And we perceive that change or movement as time passing. So this is how we measure time in this reality. So the clock time. So this is, it's not real, it's an illusion of there being time passing. 
and I went out to mix with the people again, and we were, dinner was getting ready uh, to celebrate my birthday. And, uh, but I could notice instantly, it looked like everyone was wearing a mask. It was so hard to describe this, but like they had a false face on, like they, and smiles for many of them were not real. And there's only glimpses of like um, their authentic self showing. And I know I can see the beauty in them all. I know we're all, you know, creatures of like, they're all, we're all gods. But they just were so asleep. And everything became so clear. It's like I see it, I saw, I'm seeing everything as it is. I, w I believe that it's possible to live in that state forever, permanent crisp awareness where that's enlightenment, that's true, like pure enlightenment where it's forever like that. And that's going to happen. To be in a state of non-resistance, complete acceptance and total surrender, it's a hard thing to do if you're not ready for it. Surrender is really like, feels like dying if you're identified with your ego, right? So all of these methods of meditating and, and uh, the you know, DMT and whatnot are like opportunities for you pra to practice that letting go, that surrender. Like it's scary the first time, you get used to it, you get more used to it until you, re you can accept it. But I don't look at those as necessities to achieve that. I look at it as, it's like um, they're not something you need to do to get to awakening any more than eating and sleeping and showering is something you need to get to do to being alive. It's just part of living. You eat and you sleep as part of living. That's how I view meditation and using entheogens and breath work and movement, energy movement. That's all just a normal part of being awake. It's not something you have to do to get there. It's a practice used to be here. So that's my epiphany. If it makes sense to you, great. Go with it, man. Like, it's not that complicated. There's no secret journey and path that you have to follow. If we could let go now, it would happen. Do the practices. Just like you're going to sleep and eat and brush your teeth. Do the meditation, the breath work. If psychedelics, if, draw, if you're drawn to that, if you're seeking it, it's seeking you. Whatever it is that you're moving towards and it feels right and it's the thing that helps you practice that surrender, go with it. But realize they're all like symbolic, like in the matrix, the red pill or the blue pill. Which one are you going to choose? Well, it doesn't, there's nothing really in those. They're just symbolic. It's just the choice is what matters. You make that decision. So if you're ready to make the decision, then be open to it. Be open to that experience. It's worth it. It's what has, I think it's what needs to happen in this existence. One thing related to this that I can strongly recommend is that you never stop seeking, never stop being open. Don't think you have the answer. More likely than not, as soon as you think you know it all, you're closed to actually waking up. And if you are awake, you'll know. And you don't need to, you're not going to be closed anyway. And you're not going to say that someone is wrong and that's bad and I know everything and you don't. So just be open. Just be willing to wake up, be ready to surrender, accept that you don't need to know anything or do anything to be there, to wake up. It's not like something you have to earn. We are creators in this world. We are the manifestors. Our bodies are not just pieces of meat, I realize. These are like very powerful, complex, neurotransmitter energy machines like these are designed specifically to channel that creative source into this physical plane like there's a lot of potential here i had no idea until this experience and 
we can use that. It's at our fingertips. Let's get this out of the way. That's it. I hope you found this video interesting. If you want to engage in some dialogue around this, I'm open to it, man. I'm, I want to connect with people that want to connect with people that are interested in this, you know? People that are waking up, people that are done sleeping, people that are interested, people that want to grow, want to become awake, want to become aware. That's where I see myself moving now is connecting with that community and just being there as a source of love and compassion. Till next time, stay awake.